What's good, everybody? It's your boy. Guys, I guess we back at it again. With a little segment I haven't done in a hot, hot minute. Let's watch something scary. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So today I got a top 10 scary videos that will scare your pants off. Well, it takes a lot for us to get scared. So... Let's see what's going on in the video. Sir Spooks. Hello everyone, my name scare is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at the top 10 scary videos that will scare your pants off. All right. Yes, your pants will actually fall off somehow. Okay. So, I'm not wearing let's any begin. pants right now, so. <laughs> They're pre off. The Grain Fall Tunnels are a mysterious series of tunnels located in Grain, Kent, and were initially constructed all the way back in 1868 right. to defend the confluence of the rivers Medway and the Thames, during a period of tension with France. However, the tunnels were eventually decommissioned by the United Kingdom in 1956, and shortly thereafter they were demolished. However, still to this day, you can visit the Grain Fort Tunnels, although they are strewn with rubble and they are not the same as they were a hundred years ago. Nevertheless, they are still a location of interest for many, including YouTuber Steve Ballard, who decided to document his findings in a video he published online in April of 2020. In the video, Steve is reviewing the footage that was filmed first person while in the tunnels, and he tells us that something creepy was filmed down there. After a few short seconds, you'll okay. see exactly what, what was, it is. What was down there? Take a look. Yeah. What is Should that? I figure it's a grain fault. It show itself just there. It's been played about half speed. Yeah. Now watch. Was this now watch. I swear it was a jump scare. Oh! You see it? Oh, it's like a shadow. There is undoubtedly something there, but the question is, what exactly is this figure? Of course, many believe this to be a shadow figure, which yeah. makes plenty of sense considering its appearance. Or could it somehow be someone else's shadow? It could also be a ghost, and of course, there's the possibility this was a setup. But what do you think? Was there really Honestly, a shadow figure lurking like through the green fort tunnels? He was a bit too Let me know what you think. Kevin Summer uploaded a video to his YouTube channel in December of 2018 and provided context, stating that his friend's brother was home alone vacuuming the house, which is allegedly 100 years old. He says that every time he would come back into the room after leaving it, the closet door would miraculously be open. After a while, it seriously freaked the man out, which is quite understandable, well, so he decided to, to set up a video camera in the room <laughs> to try to capture it live on camera, just so we can get some peace and understanding. I'm sorry, what happened on the footage scared the man so much that, that he ended up fleeing we the house immediately. So what could he have possibly captured on camera that scared him gone. so much? Well, we don't let's mess have with a stuff look. like that. We do not. Not gonna like a little bit sus, but also you could be just like you know, it's not showing the full door, so he could be just underneath, just you know, opening, closing, opening, closing the door. You see what I mean? Like, there, it, it at shows first, a little everything bit. seems to be going quite well. The closet door remains closed for a long while, but eventually it opens all by itself, and we can see clear as day that nobody opened it. The closet is completely really empty, yeah, so how is this even door. possible? It seems like the uploader himself has no idea, but it certainly is a mystery that will leave you scratching your head for the 
looking for answers. Let's just hope that wherever this man is living now, his closets remain closed as they should be. The clip shows a metal gate that is seemingly locked up by a padlock. The uploader provides some context by stating that before the video clip started filming, a person was at the gates and noticed the padlock was firmly locked, causing them to go back and get the keys to unlock it. Five minutes go by, and then this happens. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, what the? Yeah, this is definitely a very bizarre video. Yeah. As you can see, the padlock actually seems to twist and unlock itself before the gates finally open, all by themselves. Uh, that one, yeah, that Unfortunately, that we never see the employee sus. come back to find that the gates are now open, but I can only guess just how weirded out they were when they made the discovery. This video has an indescribable sense of reality to it that doesn't look faked or altered in any way. Yeah, honestly, but maybe you know what? that's just me. One, what do you think? Did this gate really yeah, open all by itself? I don't itself? know about that. That's if so, how? Yeah. Or do you think that this whole thing was a fake? Yeah. Be sure to let me know your opinion below. Yeah, that's really messed up. I don't know how you would fake that. That's just. woman on YouTube named Annie Bennett says that ever since she moved into her new house, she has been witnessing some seriously scary and mysterious things in the dining room, always happening during the night, okay. particularly 2.15 to 2.30 in the morning. She says that it happened so much that she has surprisingly learned to simply live with it. But even though she is used to these what? events transpiring on a nightly basis, Bro, she decided to set up a video out. camera to see if she could show her YouTube subscribers exactly what she has to put up with while in the comfort of her own home. Take a look and see what Annie experiences at night. All right. I swear it was... Oh, okay. That was some jump scare. Uh-huh. And you're telling me you're okay living there with that happening? What the flip are you? Bro, just leave. Oh my gosh, the house sold. Not even house sold, demolish the house. I'm demolishing that house. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like that, that one, yeah. Wait, and you're telling me wait, you're telling me she learned to live with that? No. No. I can't imagine how terrifying it must have been to hear this for the first time. Sleeping in your bed, trying to get some rest, when all of a sudden, your piano begins to play itself. In the description of the upload, Annie says that she was told that there was a lady that used to live in this house before her, but she ended up passing away just one year before she moved in. So could this be the ghost of the previous homeowner? It is entirely possible. After all, it would certainly explain how the piano is playing itself, as well as all the other strange activities. Bro, move, you. Like, Perhaps this is just a friendly house. ghost move, wanting get rid, to get some no, piano sell practice. Your stuff. Either Done. that, or it's all no. a carefully planned hoax. No. Let me know what you guys think.
YouTube channel 4man04 has been on the platform as early as October of 2007, and ever since their inception, the group has frequently been uploading videos relating to paranormal investigations, haunted house explorations and plenty more. In one video uploaded to their channel on February 28, 2009, the crew is investigating an old building located somewhere in Ohio. It doesn't take long at all before the group starts to suspect that perhaps they are not as alone as they think they are. And in a few short moments, you'll see that they definitely aren't. Take a look at the terrifying things they encounter. Okay. Anybody down here? Jesus Christ. Damn. Did you see that? Yeah. Hey. Yep. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I don't do jump scares. <laughs> I don't want jump scares. I keep hearing. I keep hearing a faint voice. I don't know if I'm. I don't know. If... What was it? What is it? Was this the spirit of Mary Lou hiding from what I'm me? Looking at. We mean you no harm. No. It's truly fascinating but also terrifying just how many strange and mysterious things happen to the group in such a short amount of time no. during the investigation. From freaky faces appearing in shadows and old ladies seemingly hiding in the building, this investigation is one of the freakiest finds from the early days of YouTube. Sorry, it is worth it. noting that up. the 4 man 4 group is still active to this day, continuing to make paranormal investigation videos, so I definitely recommend that you check them out. Nope. Does the name Waverly Hill Sanatorium ring a bell to you? Well, if not, it's one of the most haunted sanatoriums in the entire world and has been featured on this channel numerous times in the past, and for good reason. You'll be hard pressed to find a YouTube video about the place that's not creepy. It seems like nothing good ever happens in there, and this video by the YouTube channel Live Sci Fi further proves that sentiment. In the clip, a group of individuals can be seen and heard talking amongst each other while hesitantly looking down a dark and eerie corridor while inside the asylum. For a long while, it seems as though perhaps nothing scary will happen to the crew, but of course that is not entirely true. All of a sudden, they are taken by surprise when this happens out of the blue. This is definitely gonna go down on books. It's one of the weirdest moments of my life. Sorry, that was a guess. I thought it was a wall and I put my hand up against it. The damn door opened and I felt fell in. <laughs> That's one of the weirdest moments in your life. <laughs> you loaded your mouth, now I loaded your mouth. Oh, Lord. It's passed by you. What? Excuse me? Something that's passing by. That there's like a window or something. Is this equipment or something? Whoa, 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 whoa. We weren't even near it. We weren't even near it. Where did that come from? What the hell? Holy. Shh. According to stories from the internet, a boy was once inside the sanatorium who died while inside but loved to play ball with people. And in this video, a ball oh. can be seen rolling toward the camera crew. Okay. So is this the ghost of Timmy trying to play ball one last time? It certainly seems like it. Was that ball on the floor before? No, 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 we gotta go I back. I, I didn't know it was that ball on the floor. Is this equipment or something? Yeah. The ball's not even there. Is this equipment or the something? Ball's not even there. There's no light over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? It looked like it came from somewhere over there. Let me go back. Whoa, whoa. 
See? Exactly. Yeah, it just it just appears from right here. Almost oh, like wow, 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 wow. You know, yeah, see, and it's moving over here now. We weren't even near it. We weren't even near it. To pull camera time. That's a bit messed. Over on TikTok, a user named WV Paranormal shared a video to their account, which follows a woman who is outside camping somewhere when she suddenly spots something not too far in the distance that shakes her to the core. She is so freaked out by it that she attempts to capture the incident on camera, stating, nobody's ever gonna believe this. It may take a moment for you to see it, but look right beside the tent and you will see something genuinely terrifying. Oh my god, nobody is gonna ever believe this. What am I looking at? Is that a baby? What the oh, shit. Alright, we're going, we're going back inside. Oh! Did you see it? A tall figure out. with a completely white head seems to be peeking at the woman filming before the video ultimately shuts off without warning. The Bro, woman says that gun, she's man. going to go back inside for safety and we can only hope that she was safe after she stopped recording. By its tall appearance and dark clothing and its white face, it almost looks like the Slender Man or some other strange shadow figure. <laughs> what do you think this mysterious stranger BB is? Gun. And maybe even better, what it do you think their BB intentions gun. were? Sh for now, it remains warning a mystery, shots, but we can only shots. hope that we and the I'm woman in the video the get answers someday. What was this? You're how it sounds. Me no one had something it's on full of videos that are allegedly cursed, and even if they aren't, they're still incredibly chilling and are sure to keep you awake at night. This particular video was posted to the subreddit six months ago and shows a hidden doll with graffiti on it, reading, Do not open. You see something that says, do not open, do not enter. You're going to enter it. Whatever that happens, you deserve it. It was warned, do not enter. I don't understand people these days, man. Of course, this is I'm pretty ominous, that. but somehow this particular person was not afraid and decided he would open it anyway just to see what exactly was Not inside, his curiosity getting the better of him. For a couple of seconds, it seems as though this hidden room actually has nothing to hide, but that doesn't stop the Reddit user from looking around. Oh, he actually goes but in just room. a few seconds, he will find out the hard way that he is absolutely not welcome there. Yep. Alright, alright. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a mysterious figure dressed in all black up, spots the uploader and then proceeds to make loud and angry groaning oh, sounds man. before charging at the man, Yo, causing him to exit the room immediately Not and slam the door shut. It doesn't take him Not too really long to figure, realize that sound. he may be in serious like, danger, which is when he proceeds to run away from the area at once. This video definitely does make you wonder though. What exactly is inside this area that the man dressed in black wants to hide from the general public? And also, where exactly is this room? What country is it in? Is it all just one big hoax? It doesn't seem as though we will get any answers anytime soon, but for now we can all discuss this video and get creeped out by it. of films are some no, of the most I, oh, terrifying gosh. mainstream horror movies of the past decade. 
With three oh, main entries in the franchise being yep, released now, the yep, series has gone to various different locations, friends. but easily the most like chilling has to be the house like from the first movie. <laughs> the real Conjuring <laughs> house is located it, in Harrisville tea, on Rhode Island, and was recently purchased by new owners. Take a look at these videos that were filmed inside the Conjuring house by the new owners to get a good taste as to how creepy this place actually is. Like, do they live there or they just have cameras all up in there just just chilling or something like that? Yeah, what? Hello? Yo, you guys are just casually just sitting there. That's so weird. I don't, I don't understand why. Same book again. Yo, honestly, people got just too much money just to spend. I, I why would you buy a house like that? <laughs> like twelve fifty nine. As you can see, books getting thrown to the ground all by themselves, and shadow figures seemingly looming through hallways, are just a few of the chilling things that have occurred in this extremely frightening place recently. You know, actually what I'm thinking about, when I see that book fall, I'm thinking of, what's that movie called? Interstellar? <laughs> Interstellar? Maybe, maybe, maybe it was just, you know, he needs help from the other dimension, you know, he's sending you guys a message from the other dimension. This seems to further prove that the events of which The Conjuring was based on may be actually were true. But I'll leave it up for you guys to decide on whether these videos show real paranormal activity or something else entirely. Oh no. The Norwood Hotel, located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, is your typical hotel that you would spend a couple of nights at and not think twice about the place. You go to bed, wake up and leave the next morning, like any other hotel. But if you plan to visit the place yourself, do not visit room 313. It is said to be very haunted and full of unusual activity. And this video published by the paranormal investigation channel Paranormies showcases exactly that. In the upload, the group decides to venture inside room 313 just to see for themselves exactly how haunted and infested with spirits it really is. Is it even haunted? Well, it sure seems to be. For a long while, nothing exactly creepy happens, although the ambience inside the room is certainly unsettling. However, at the 23 minute mark, the Paranormies get their first sign that maybe they shouldn't be there. Okay, we'll give it some light here. Mm -hmm. What is this now? Uh -oh. Is this where you've been hiding? That is really creepy. Yeah, I'm looking the behind there. There's it's nothing there. there. There's nothing there. That's just like the, it's like sitting in the corner of the tub. And then, a couple of minutes later, the crew proceeds to set up motion balls on one of the beds while one of the men, Jordan, asks the potential spirit in the room if it can touch one of the motion balls to let him know that they're in the room. Sure enough, this happens shortly after. Oh, this is just dead. Oh, oh whoa, whoa. Thank you. Scare. I didn't... Scare? Scare. I did not expect that. <clears throat> No, man, because that guy hasn't even touched the REM pod yet. Oh my Ooh. god, I just saw a shadow behind you. Really? Yeah. I look? Yeah, look. I saw it by the bathroom over there. It wasn't my shadow? Nope. 
Who's just casting over there to the to my right? So far, uh, everything that has happened has been strictly paranormal in nature, which makes a lot of sense. But what happens after the motion ball incident is truly baffling. Watch what happens here when Jordan gets up and proceeds to walk by the mirror on the wall. What is that noise? You hear it still? It's like a tapping. Oh, check it out. Heavy. Although we didn't initially notice it at the time, at some point when Jordan walks by the mirror, he does not have a reflection, which is quite eerie. Something that's a lot harder to explain is something you probably missed, just like I almost missed during editing, and that's when Jordan walked into the bathroom for the second time. He didn't have a reflection in the mirror. Um, and I don't understand cameras very well, so I don't understand if this is a FPS issue with the camera during that moment um, for low light sensitivity. I don't know how that all works, so I don't know. But if that's not the case, then I came up with a theory and I'll share that. Jordan wasn't being picked up by the SLS camera throughout the night and it wouldn't focus on his face specifically a lot throughout the night. And we kind of were talking about the possibility that there was something latching onto him or you know, just lingering around him that night. And I think it's possible that when Jordan passed by the mirror the second time, that something was either standing in front of the mirror blocking his reflection, or it was something walking with Jordan to the bathroom. Either way, it's really unsettling and it's probably one of the best pieces of footage that I think we've ever caught. Later on, while the crew members sleep in the beds to get some rest during the early hours of the night, their REM pod and K2 devices proceed to give them an unexpected wake-up call. And also, it seems as though something strange happens with Jordan as well. Take a look. I love the fact they're just nicely casually just, you know, sleeping there or something. Shortly thereafter, the crew decided to call it a day, which was, was probably that? the wise decision, because it certainly seemed as though room 313 was as haunted as they believed it was. The Paranormies are well known for conducting various paranormal investigations around the world, but hopefully they're wise enough not to check back into room 313 at the Norwood Hotel. And that was 10 scary videos that will scare your pants off. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for- Number one was honestly extremely weak. <laughs> As you can tell, man, I was just chilling back there, just- Like, I'm just so puzzled, I'm like, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> I don't know. This didn't really scare my pants off, per se. There was a couple moments, I'm not gonna lie, that actually did scare me a bit. I mean, uh, <laughs> but- Anyways, that's going to be it for this video today. Hit the like button, subscribe for more good videos. Also, follow me on Instagram, guys. Message me there if you guys want me to react to anything or just want to chat. All right. I'll see you on the next one. And I'll try to find a better video that will actually scare our pants off.